This book is called The Good Manners Brigade Comes to Town. It was a beautiful Saturday afternoon in Good Manners Town. The sun was shining and the sea was sparkling. The sky was bright and blue with some fluffy white clouds floating above. Most of the people who lived in Good Manners Town were happy and helpful. But in one house in the center of town, there was unhappiness. Mr. and Mrs. Rudy were the parents of Rhonda and Robbie. But lately, their daughter, Rhonda, had been behaving badly. And now her younger brother, Robbie, was following her poor example. Mr. and Mrs. Rudy, sadly, looked at each other as their children ran out to play. In Good Manners Town, there was a group of people who led the Good Manners Brigade. They were well liked by everyone in the town. They always had friendly smiles wherever they went. And they organized many wonderful town events, including picnics, games, and activities. On this fine Saturday, they were meeting to organize the spring picnic. Three people had already arrived for the meeting. The first person to arrive was Miss Mayai, who was in charge of the Good Manners Brigade. She led the brigade to all of the town events. Her most important job was to visit classrooms and schools to talk about the brigade to new school teachers and students. The second was Mrs. Polite, who was famous for her delicious homemade cookies and lemonade. She made sure that all the members of the Good Manners Brigade were kind and helpful to everyone who lived in Good Manners Town, and that they all carefully wiped the cookie crumbs from their chins after eating her delicious cookies. The third person to arrive was Nutty, no thank you, who was happily eating a chocolate chip cookie. When he didn't want something, he always said, no thank you. But he never said no to a free meal or snack. He wore bright funny ties, and all the children laughed when he ate. Nutty, no thank you, always spilled cookie crumbs and sauce on his funny ties. He had to wear a bib to cover his shirt when he ate. There were two more team leaders, Skipper Yes Please and Captain Thank You. It was really funny to hear them say Yes Please and Thank You exactly at the same time. Walking towards their meeting place, they saw Rhonda and Robbie Rudy. They were playing in the park with Sailor. Sailor was Skipper Yespley's son. Daddy, Daddy, where are you going? Sailor called out. And Skipper Yespley replied, We're going to town for our Good Manners Brigade meeting. It's time to start planning our spring picnic. Sailor said, May I come with you? I like the Good Manners Brigade. I have fun when I meet with the brigade. May I please bring my friends Robbie and Rhonda too? You are most welcome to come. Your friends may come too, but first they must ask their parents, said Skipper, yes please. Rhonda and Robbie were happy when their parents said they could go with Sailor. When they arrived in town, Mrs. Polite said, Hello, Captain, thank you, and Skipper, yes, please, and Sailor, you have brought your friends. They all went inside to meet the rest of the Good Manners Brigade. Miss Mayai came over to say hello, and Skipper, yes, please, introduced the children to her. <laughs> Nutty, no, thank you, was still munching chocolate chip cookies. Miss Mayai said, Think of Captain Thank You whenever someone gives you something. When someone asks you if you want to do something, think of Skipper Yes Please or Nutty No Thank You. Remember, Mrs. Polite, when you are with your friends or a lot of other people, when you are at school 
and everyone is rushing to get to the classroom, you must not forget to be kind, like Mrs. Polite. Captain Thank You made a funny face and added, The next time you're out with your mother and father at your favorite restaurant, your server will ask you if you want something. Think of me, especially when your server brings the food to your table. Finally, please remember me too, said Miss May I, when you want to ask something. We will remember you every time we finish our supper and want to leave the table, Rhonda said, as she and her brother smiled. This made Miss May I very happy. She reached over and shook Sailor's hand. Thank you for bringing your two friends to meet us. I know they're going to be great new members of the Good Manners Brigade. Rhonda and Robbie were very pleased when Mrs. Polite gave each of them a Good Manners Brigade badge. That night, they were very excited when they told their parents about their lovely day in town. They proudly held up their Good Manners Brigade badges, telling their mother and father, we are even going to help with the spring picnic. That day, in Good Manners Town, Mr. and Mrs. Rudy smiled. They were happy and proud that their children had joined the Good Manners Brigade. They were looking forward to going to all of the events. Most of all, they would enjoy more than ever spending time with their children because now Rhonda and Robbie had good manners. And that brings us to the end of the Good Manners Brigade book that comes to town.